No, I'm not quitting YouTube, guys. Let me make that clear up front in the beginning of this video. But in the last few weeks or so, I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are quitting. So many of the ones that have been around for years and years saying, hey, I'm done, I'm retiring, I'm stepping back from YouTube. So I guess if I had to come up with a theme for this video or for this conversation I'm gonna have with you guys, I think it would be called burnout. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you've seen some of these videos of established YouTubers saying that they're quitting. And guys, let me know your thoughts on it. So this video is gonna be a little bit different, guys. I normally come on here and I talk about money and investing and all that good stuff, but on this video, I just wanna chime in and give my two cents on what I think is happening with a lot of YouTubers that are quitting. Now, for me, guys, I've been on YouTube about three years now. And trust me, I've experienced a lot on YouTube. A lot of growth, a lot of setbacks, a lot of problems, issues, good, good times, bad times, all that on YouTube in just almost three years. And I gotta admit, guys, YouTube is a pretty cool thing. Like, if you ask a lot of kids nowadays, what do they wanna do when they grow up? A lot of them say nowadays, hey, I wanna be a YouTuber, right? But a lot of kids and a lot of people in general just don't understand how much work is involved when it comes to YouTube? Yes, YouTube is fun and it's super cool and all that good stuff, but YouTube, especially on a full-time basis, it can take a toll on you. And I think people need to understand that with the hard work, the dedication, all the time you put into it, super cool, looks good, but guess what, guys? There's a lot that goes into YouTube behind the scenes that you never see. And so YouTube, it's just not as easy as a lot of people think it is. You have to do so much on YouTube over a long stretch of time, first of all, to really get, get started and get going. You gotta do so much and you're not even getting paid anything for it. You have to put out 50, 60, 100 YouTube videos, two, sometimes 200, 300 YouTube videos for a lot of people just to get monetized, right? And then even after you get monetized, there's still no guarantee that you're gonna be paid any substantial amount of money to keep you going. Not to mention, guys, if you do kind of blow up on YouTube and start to get bigger and bigger and your subscriber count goes up and your views go up, that means there's more and more work that you gotta do on YouTube. I mean, you have affiliates that reach out to you by email every day, so you gotta kinda manage that. And then, of course, there's the business side, taking account of all the expenses and all the income and all that stuff. All that has to happen. And then, of course, there's the creative side to everything, right? What topics are you gonna talk about? Your outline for your videos, if you're gonna write your videos, or if you're gonna, even gonna unscript them, you still have to come up with an outline of what you wanna talk about. And then, of course, you become a cameraman who's managing the camera. You become the on-screen personality. You become the person who has to do all the editing of your videos if you don't outsource that out. Not to mention, guys, at the end of all that, when you get ready to upload, you gotta figure out what titles you're gonna use, right? And then you gotta worry about, you know, chasing the algorithm. Right, The one thing that everybody can't really seem to get a grasp of, the algorithm. And maybe you have to chase subscribers. And then maybe you have to chase views and viewers, right? And then some folks find themselves chasing money, right? You know, once you monetize and you're trying to increase your brand and bring in more revenue for your brand, there's a lot of stuff that's happening. And you know, YouTube, guys, is sort of like a stage, right? It's sort of like a platform. It's a microphone, guys. Every time you hit record and you put yourself out there, it can be like, like being on stage in front of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people every single time you hit record and record a video. So there's a lot going on, guys. And me personally, I would understand if a YouTuber that had you know, 500,000, 1 million, 2 million, 10 million subscribers, if they decided to pull back, to step back, to slow down, to maybe even retire. I totally get it because I understand the amount of work that goes into every single video. The business side, the hiring other people side, the outsourcing work side, as well as just the creative side. And so if a YouTuber wants to quit, I understand it. You know, one question that I think everybody that is either on YouTube or wants to get on YouTube should ask themselves is this question. Are you doing it just for the money? I think some newer YouTubers actually start a YouTube channel because they've heard 
that you can make a lot of money on YouTube for very little work. So I think a lot of new YouTubers are thinking, hey, I'm going to get in it and make me some money. And I think some of the older YouTubers that have been around for a long time and are talking right now about quitting, I think a large part of that is a lot of them have been overwhelmed and they're experiencing burnout. Not to mention, they've sort of lost some of the creative side while dealing with the business side of being a full-time YouTuber. YouTube can easily become not so fun anymore. When you start looking at the whole business side that you got to do as you try to grow your brand, grow your business, and you're getting all this money from YouTube, sometimes that creative side that you really enjoyed in the beginning, it's gone. And now you're stuck with having to manage the business, and the business ain't so much fun. And so a lot of older YouTubers could be experiencing that, and I totally get that too. Not to mention this, if you've got a million, two million, five million, ten million subscribers, and you've been at this thing for five or ten or fifteen years, and guess what guys? A lot of older YouTubers that have been around a long time that are talking about quitting, they probably got a lot of money. And so the money doesn't necessarily become their drive anymore. And so that can make quitting a little bit easier. I think a lot of YouTubers that I see that are talking about quitting YouTube, I think a lot of them are young YouTubers. They've been around YouTube a long time, but they're still young people, right? So in other words, they may be 25 years old, 30 years old, 35 years old. Well, guess what happens, guys? Life takes over. When you're 25 and 30 and 35 years old, oftentimes you're gonna grow and you're gonna evolve into someone else into a different person than you that you were 10 years ago when you started your YouTube channel and just wanted to have some fun. Right now you're 30, you're 35, you're 40 years old and you're looking at the business side, maybe you're married, maybe you have some children. And so some of your your goals change. Some of your values change in life. And so as people begin to change and make these shifts, sometimes the YouTube channel doesn't become the biggest priority. And I think that could be one of the reasons that some of the more established YouTubers that have been around YouTube for a long time are thinking about quitting, right? As you get older, you have different goals, different life situations, and things just change. And that's not good, it's not bad, but it just is what it is. In my opinion, guys, if you're new watching this and you're starting out on YouTube, I would say one of the biggest things you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a bigger why. It's bigger than just money. You need a purpose, right? A purpose is gonna help you keep going when the money is not there, when the algorithm changes, and all of a sudden you're not getting the view count or the subscribers that you used to get, right? And things have shifted and changed. You know, what is your why? What is your purpose for being on YouTube? And I think if you're new and starting out, you wanna develop that purpose and make sure that purpose is not just money, right? When you do something for just money, you're gonna quit before the money actually starts rolling in if you're just there for the money. As soon as you go from 1 million views per month down to 500,000 views per month, and then the algorithm switches and shifts and you don't know about it and you don't know how to prepare or change or shift with it, and now you, you get 75,000 views per month, your money is going down the whole time. Do you have a big enough why and a purpose to hang in there even though the money's not there? Hey, on YouTube, guys, attention is capital, right? And when you don't get attention on YouTube as a creator, then you don't make as much money. And if you're out chasing the money, then the money could go away because of the shift in the algorithm changes, right? Anything could happen that makes that algorithm stop picking up your, your, uh, your, your, your videos, right? And what happens is, then what? What do you do? Do you say, you know what, I'm done, I'm quitting? Or do you say, hey, I've been doing this a long time and I really enjoy doing this and bringing this to the community and the people that watch me. So I'm going to keep going because I enjoy it and I'm not just doing it for the money. When you're working with the answer to the why, why are you doing these YouTube videos and it's not money and you're holding a microphone and you're on this platform called YouTube and you're doing it because you have a much bigger purpose than money, then oftentimes guys, you have an incentive to keep going. Now, if it's bothering your mental health, if YouTube is bothering your physical health, then hey, I'm all for letting it go, scaling back, pulling back. If you just wanna shift, right? Your life has changed and 
you shipped. I think that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with it. So I don't want to critique, you know, why people decide to quit YouTube or leave YouTube because everybody has their own reasons, right? And I respect all of those reasons no matter what they are, right? But we just want to make sure as creators, guys, on YouTube that we don't get in the habit of chasing the views, chasing the subscribers, chasing the money. Let's chase the why. Let's chase our purpose. You know, I found, guys, that sometimes the most important growth on YouTube is not really the, the subscribers, the views, the money. It's not any of that, really. Sometimes it's just the growth of your message, right? The clarity of your purpose, right? If you really get clear on what you're out here doing and doing it for, I think it helps, right? I think sometimes we get so um, enamored with the idea of growth, right? I wanna grow, I wanna grow my subscribers, I wanna grow my uh, views per month, I wanna grow my um, everything, my, my, my uh, how much I make on YouTube. I just wanna grow, 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 but sometimes, guys, it's okay to strive for purpose. It's okay to strive just to deliver something that's extremely important that you think other people feel is important as well and you just wanna deliver a message sometimes, right? Sometimes, instead of striving for growth in every little area, sometimes it's okay just to strive to touch a life, strive to maybe have a positive effect on somebody else's day. Maybe just strive to help somebody else smile throughout the day, right? Those are all worthy goals too. So it doesn't just have to be growing my YouTube channel and growing my subscribers and growing how much money I make per month or per year on YouTube. There's other things that are important with this platform that we're able to have where we can actually get in from, front of a camera and reach millions of people. That's pretty huge, guys. That's, that's a big blessing in my opinion. I mean, you don't really have to blow up on YouTube to be successful on YouTube. I mean, a lot of YouTubers that are quitting YouTube I think a lot of them, they just, sometimes when you get so much going on, guys, you're wearing a lot of different hats, right? And honestly, sometimes, guys, when you're wearing all the hats, you know, you're dealing with the affiliates, you're answering emails, you're keeping your schedule on tack, you're talking, you're dealing with income and expenses and taxes, and you're building a business, so you're actually looking at this as a business now, as opposed to just some random videos on YouTube. When you're wearing all those different hats, guys, not to mention the creator hat, right? Putting out new videos, new ideas, and all that good stuff. When you're wearing all those hats, the stress level goes higher and higher and higher, right? Way more stressful when you gotta deal with all that other stuff than when you're just making good, making good videos, right? So, totally different world. Not to mention the elephant in the room, right? The big beast in the room, the algorithm that you're trying to figure out and you're trying to make videos for in a lot of cases, right? Let's keep it 100% real on this video. The algorithm is the big beast that everybody that puts a video out on YouTube, not everybody, but most people, especially big YouTubers are trying to conquer, right? Trying to conquer the attention that is the algorithm. So nobody really, really has fully figured out the algorithm. Now you got some people who have a large audience and some of these larger YouTubers that are quitting who have these two and three and five and $10 million, 10 million subscriber platforms, they've got a good feel for the algorithm, right? But a lot of folks don't, guys. The algorithm can change. And I think it's changed lately. And I think that's having an effect on some YouTubers, guys. Just frankly, it's having an effect on some people who create videos. And they have 400,000 subscribers, but lo and behold, they're only getting two and 3,000 views per video. They're trying to figure out the algorithm, right? And sometimes that can get frustrating and it can cause some experienced YouTubers to say, you know what, let me pull back on YouTube just a bit. Not only is it stressful, to have a big channel, but it's also stressful trying to figure out, you know, what the title is, what the thumbnail is, or also it's stressful to pay everybody to outsource all the things to do some of these, these things for me, right? All that is stressful and can weigh real heavily on a YouTuber, right? Because if you're just making videos just for the algorithm and just to try to get views and make money, then guys, that's gonna be more and more stressful for you. Much more stressful than just trying to deliver fun, quality uh, information to a community of people. But hey, I would tell any YouTuber 
that is thinking about quitting or thinking about sort of pulling back a little bit, I would say, hey, you just got to do what's best for you, your health, your mental health, your physical health, and do what's best for your family as well. Quitting YouTube means, okay, how am I going to bring in extra money if I don't have money to sustain us as a family? So this is a pretty serious thing for a lot of folks, guys. And hey, as a YouTuber, guys, I totally understand how exhausting YouTube can be. YouTube is work, point blank. And I can certainly understand the burnout that some of my fellow YouTubers that have been around way longer than me are experiencing. Trust me, I get it. But hey guys, that's just my two cents on what's taking place with all of these YouTubers that are quitting right now. Hey, but I'll still be here. I'm not going anywhere, guys. My purpose is to help empower you with your money by helping you manage your money, helping you make more money, helping you invest more money, helping you save more money, all that good stuff. So I'll still be making videos. Don't forget to drop that comment below, guys. Let me know what you think about all these YouTubers that have been around for a long time that are quitting. Thanks for watching. I hope this video blesses somebody, motivates somebody, encourages somebody, or inspires somebody. Until the next video, peace.